Hi, I'm Dave Knight with the Dave Knight Real Estate Team. Here to answer Lynn's question. Lynn, thank you so much for your question. A $25 gift card is headed your way. So Lynn's question is, is there a good rule of thumb for how much to fix up a house before putting it on the market? Or what improvements give owners the most return? Gosh, Lynn, that is a great question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you my most honest answer. And the first thing I want to state is, is that every house is different. And there's several different questions that help me determine what advice to give. So the first question I'll ask is, is it a seller's market or a buyer's market? If it's a seller's market, that means that inventory is very low and buyer demand is very high. So in that case, sellers can dump off a lot of problems and a lot of challenges of the properties onto buyers because buyers don't have much to choose from. Now, if it's a buyer's market, that means there's, there's very few buyers and there's lots of inventory. And what we say is, is that when that's the case, sellers have to, they're entering into a beauty contest. So they have to put a lot of money into putting makeup on a property and fixing the problems because they're going to have a lot of competition. So is it a seller's market? Is it a buyer's market? The next question is, what's the competition? because we're really looking at it from when we go on the market, the other houses for sale are our competition. So what do they offer? How do we position ourselves against them so that we're the ones that the buyers want to buy versus them? So we're looking at competition in the neighborhood, and then we're also looking at the competition throughout the city or surrounding cities in neighborhoods that are similar neighborhoods that'll have similar demand. So what's the competition? Because what we really want to do is if we're going to put in $10 to fix it up, then we want to make certain that we get 15 or more back. Because if we're just going to get $10 back, then why on earth did we go through the hassle of doing all the work? So another question is uh, that it will ask is who's going to, who do we think is going to be the next owner? And what are they going to want? Are they going to want certain things fixed up or are they going to probably buy, buy it move in and fix it up the way that they want it? Are they probably going to want to paint the house on their own and make it their own color? These are all questions that really kind of work together to help figure out how much do we fix up the house before putting it on the market. Now when it comes to improvements that give owners the most return, um, I'm going to give you a couple general ones. The, the first one is curb appeal. Curb appeal is important because when, you put, when people pull up, you want to pull them into the property. So you want to entice them to come and take a look on the inside. The second thing, and this is just me speaking from my personal experience, this is not canned information. Uh, the thing that I notice people really want is a nice kitchen. So a remodeled kitchen is always really nice. The second one seems to be a uh, master bath. So both of those are great things that you can invest in over time. Perfect example is Paul and Anna are in escrow right now. I helped them buy several years ago for $640,000. Uh, what they did was they actually permitted additional square footage. That was great because that adds tremendous value for an additional 100 square feet at $500 a square foot, you get an additional $50,000 of value. They also remodeled the bedrooms and then the bathrooms. So we're in escrow over a million dollars on their property right now. Those were great improvements that over time. Now, uh, they had a plan for that and the market also worked in their favor because the market's been climbing since they bought it. So the most important thing to do, and, and don't feel bad about this, if you're thinking about selling in the future and you're wondering what improvements to make or what money should you put in, every situation is different. So feel free to give me a call and don't feel bad about it. Call me, invite me over. I'm happy to, for free, I'll just come over. I'll pretend that uh, the property's mine and I'll think through what would I do and I'll offer, out my, offer to you my thoughts on what you should do. So that concludes today's question and video. Make it a great day and we'll see you on the next one.